Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Samantha if you're new here. I'm a full-time nurse, I'm a reseller, and I also love to garden. So I've had many people request a video about my gardening and how I get it to be so beautiful and how it's flourishing so much. So I just wanna drop a quick video showing you my new palette gardens I've tried out this year and then cutting my purple cauliflower for you guys. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video, it helps me a ton, but I'm gonna be putting out all kinds of different content. So if you have anything that you would like me to do also, please drop that in the comments below because I'm always willing to do any kind of video to help you guys out with any part of your life, motivation, you know, gardening, reselling, making money, speaking, whatever it is, just let me know in the comments below. So this is my cauliflower and broccoli plants and stuff. I've already pulled the bro broccoli, but as you can see, it is a little bit hot right now for cauliflower and stuff. So they are burning up a little bit. Um, I think next year what I'm going to do is definitely plant my palettes that I'm going to put cauliflower and stuff more in the shade. But if you can see that beautiful purple, look how awesome this head looks. This is my first year ever growing cauliflower, so I was super thankful that it turned out the way it did. And I'm going to go ahead and get that cut for you guys. And this is another palette garden that I have. I do a lot of compact gardening, and what that means is planting it really close together so that you don't have weeds. So this is a cucumber plant, and then right next to it is two tomatoes, and then a bell pepper, and the bell pepper is huge right now. Then I've got some beans over here and some more bell pepper. I've got to replant some of these beans in here. Um, I think the birds ate them. After I am done cutting the cauliflower heads that grow though, I will be pulling these plants and putting something else in its place. So it looks like this one's definitely got a long time to go because there is no head growing yet. So basically, you know the cauliflower is ready because you'll start having these like shoots. As, as you can see, it's kind of bunching out from the bundle. Um, like right here, these are kind of spiking out a little bit. And that's how you know it's ready to cut. So you're gonna wanna cut at the base. You don't have to worry about the rest of the plant just because only one head per plant. So I'm gonna be pulling this after and putting it in my compost anyways. But you do wanna save a few of these leaves to keep it protected. So you'll just take a knife and you're going to cut at the bottom of it. And that's it. There is the head of cauliflower. This guy is huge. I'm so happy for it being my very first cauliflower I've grown. I didn't even grow white before, so purple is going to be interesting. I can't wait to taste it. Why I've got you here before I go show you my other front garden plot. I showed you how I did the cauliflower. This is a organic um, fertilizer that I use this year. And then I also use worm compost and this is organic. I bought this online. It's a huge big old bag. And basically you're gonna use this on the dirt before you actually plant the plants. And I actually have a compost and I also have a worm box that I just started last year, but I think I'm gonna have to beef it, beef it up and do multiple worm boxes. As much gardening as I wanna do, I'm gonna need a lot of worm castings. So let me go ahead and show you my front garden plot because I'm getting ready to pull all my lettuce and arugula, and so what better way to show you before I pull it all and what I'm gonna do with it next. All right, I am here in my front two garden pots, guys, to show you what I got growing. I've had these pots for about two years now. Um, I've been composting and I use organic dirt from my dad's. He's been composting that dirt for multiple years now. So I got awesome dirt to use. I spread out the worm uh, castings like I mentioned before, before I plant the uh, plant all my stuff. And I also have like volunteer tomato plants growing in here. I was gonna pull them but I figured I'll let them grow. I have pulled a few of them so that there's not like too many tomato plants. But in this row, I have my corn. And then as you go along here, I have my kale and it looks amazing. I've been cutting that for kale chips and stuff like that. I have my Swiss chard in this row. And then I planted some um, 
more cabbage, but the cabbage was just a little bit close. Uh, I didn't realize that they were gonna get so bushy. And then these rows was actually the salad mix, spring mix that I had made. So now that it's flowering, it's time to pull them and shake them out. And I will be putting these in my compost bin. After I pull these rows, I will be planting beans because beans actually add nitrogen back to the soil and it's gonna give it some great nutrients. Then if you follow me more, I have more kale here, another row of kale, and then I've got onions. And as you can see in the onions, there's more tomato, volunteer tomato plants. So I'm gonna have all kinds of little cherry tomatoes or regular tomatoes we will find out soon. So this is one of my compost bins. I need to get some new posts for it. But as you can see, I also have even more tomato plants growing in it. And it was just kind of random from throwing stuff out for composting. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and checking out my garden plots. Um, I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let me know what other kind of content you'd like me to put out. And I just appreciate all of you. Have an amazing day.